Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for day four of our devotionals and uh, today I'm reading from Psalm chapter 19 verses 1 to 6 reading from the Living Bible. The heavens are telling the glory of his craftsmanship. Day and night they keep on telling about God. Without a sound or word, silent in the skies, their message reaches out to all the world. The sun lives in the heavens where God placed it and moves out across the skies as radiant as a bridegroom going to his wedding, or as joyous as an athlete looking forward to a race. The sun crosses the heavens from end to end, and nothing can hide from its heat. At this time of year, we expect sunny days. We always want sunny days, no matter what time of the year. We always feel better on a sunny day. Recently, we had an overcast day, and it was so dreary that I commented out loud how dreary the day how dreary the day was and how it was getting me down. Hubby replied, the sun is shining somewhere. There's a song written by Jesse B. Pounds that begins with the line, somewhere the sun is shining. I remember it best from hearing gospel singer-writer Jake Hess sing it. When each of our grandchildren turned five years old, we would take them off to Disney World, hoping to, have, hoping to give them an experience to remember before they headed off to school. With today's standard, we would have had to do that when they were three, and that wouldn't have worked for sure. That aside, our third grandson, Kevin, who was our fourth grandchild, had his turn. We boarded the, the, the plane for Orlando, and before takeoff, Kevin had fallen asleep. He had the window seat, of course, because uh, we wanted him to experience the delight of looking down over the earth and seeing how beautiful and ordered everything looks from up there. I myself are, I'm in awe of this each time I fly. Very soon after takeoff, we broke through the clouds. It was an awesome sight. The clouds were solid below us, looking like a cobblestone ro road. The sun was streaming down and fanning out, radiating over the clouds. Just then, Kevin awoke and his first words were, Wow, is this the place where God lives? The innocence and pure awe gripped me then and still does each time I recall the memory. I'm sure this kind of reaction was what was on the mind of Jesus as in Matthew 18, 2 to 5 says, he took the small child on his knee. And later on says, unless you turn to God and become as, a, as little children, you'll never get into the kingdom of heaven. In my mind, this means having the innocent awe, the faith of a child. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, as we take this time to pause and praise you for all your wonders, May we ever be mindful to call on you when the clouds of our lives come along. Fill our hearts and minds with your heavenly sunshine. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.